Howdy y'all, welcome to the Mayhem's Fab Lab channel. Good morning, y'all. It's been a minute since uh, we've last connected, but uh, I have some footage or some video that I've been working on um, regarding the suspension and the axle brackets and stuff like that. Uh, however, it's taken me a little bit longer than I expected to get this done. Um, when you have a newborn uh, in the middle of trying to do your suspension, which is much more important than my suspension. However, just letting you know, uh, that's one of the reasons I've been a little bit sluggish on getting uh, getting some content out. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do today, I'm just going to kind of uh, gloss over anything that involves suspension because that video will be coming out a little later. It's going to be, uh, as I said in my previous videos, uh, or my previous video, it's going to be a little bit longer uh, of a video doing the suspension stuff because I'm going to try to go into detail and show you kind of what I'm working with using the link calculator and stuff like that. Um, but today we're going to be putting, the, mating the transmission up to the engine and we're going to be making a cross member uh, for that transmission. Uh, that's something I can probably knock out in a day, and I'll be okay. <laughs> and, and I can get a video up uh, just to keep you guys a little bit uh, apprised to what's going on. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to put you all on a stand and start talking to you on that side of the camera. Flip you around. All right, so... I got my transmission, my transfer case right there. We're gonna blend them together here. Okay, let's see if I can do this on the floor. I don't know. I'm just, uh, you know, this is this is just spitballing right here. Trying to do everything on my own. like we need to get the transmission up so let's bring the transmission up Shucks. The next day. Well, working on that there transmission yesterday. And, uh, yeah, well, them there bolts that put that thing right into the, the transfer case right into that transmission. Well, them nuts are seized on there, and I can't get them things on there. So, quick call to the Summit Racing. I got myself one of them adapter kits with all new hardware. So, with that being said, I'm going to be waiting on that. It says it's going to be here today. That was yesterday. I ordered them, them things at about mm, 5.30, 6 o'clock, something like that, yesterday from Summit Racing. FedEx says that sums gun's going to be here today. I mean, ain't that cool? So, in the meantime... My garage is just one heck of a pigsty. So I'm going to clean this thing up just a little bit. And I'll be right back to you. Okay? Okay. A few moments later. Alright, we're going to put this transmission here in. You know, uh, I got like, 
I, I think it's like garage ADHD or something like that. I started cleaning up yesterday. This FedEx man came, just like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh man, I, I gotta work on the Jeep. I can't clean up the garage. So this morning I took some time, cleaned up the garage, just a Scotia Bibble. Nothing crazy. I didn't like spit shine it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm gonna hook the uh, old engine crane up to the rear. And uh, see if we can't get her placed on the back side here. Let's see what happens. All right, got it hooked up to the stand. Oop, gotta take some bolts out here. These are my little cross member bolts that, oh, they're a little bit tight in there. Might have to get the, get the old wrench out. Grab them. I just had the darn wrench too, here it is. Oh, I gotta take all this stuff out too. Jeez, I'm not prepared. Pause. Okay, now we got that cleaned up. And I got this cl cleaned up here. And cleaned up back here. I think we're good to start pushing this thing in there. Let me put y'all on the stand. Time lapse music, get her done. <laughs> Okay, I got the pins in, or the, uh, the dowels and the trans. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a few bolts in just so I know I'm gonna stay put. And then I can do the level majigger, high and low, whatever you wanna call it. That's in. Uh, woo, it is warm outside today. I'm sweating like a pig, man. Whew. Okay. So now I got to figure out how I'm going to be doing this here transmission mount. Let me take y'all off the stand here. So the advanced adapters, adapter majigger, came with this deal here that I can put a plate under. Let me grab the plate. All right, let me. Okay, I got y'all on the stand now. So. That goes there. down a little bit. I'd like this to be off. I'm not sure how we're going to do this, ladies and genders. So if that's there, that's barely... Two hours later. Well, 
Well, I took the uh, old transmission pan out right here, the steel out, so I can make the this bracket here. I got to figure out. I'm thinking. Let me tell you what I'm thinking here. Okay. Let me get underneath here. All right. So I could do it that way and have the tube. Whoops. Yeah, we're good. Right in here, right? But that puts the tube like right about exhaust height. I won't be able to get exhaust through. I'm going to have clearance for exhaust. So I'm going to flip this over. I think I'm going to do it this way, like that. Have the tube right here, and then the the uh, tabs for the cross universal cross member kit are angled, so I can just have a little bit of a little angle of dangle. You know what I'm saying? And then, if I need to clearance the transmission skid plate, I can just cut a hole there that's just big enough for that tube, so that it's basically, you know, not that much of a hindrance. It's not going to be a big issue. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, but I need to figure out what the size these holes are. The uh, studs that I, or the stuff that I found, uh, don't fit, so... I'm going to go look on the internets, but if any of you happen to be getting, getting, uh, the, using this advanced adapters 231 to 4L60 case, and you happen to need studs for the transfer case, why don't you look in the dang kit? I just ordered a $17 kit from advanced adapters. That's the stock one, so it's 3 8 coarse thread going into the transfer case, 3 8 fine thread out to a fine thread nut to bolt the transmission to the transfer case. This is what I was looking for the whole time. Right here. Just 3 8 16, or 3 8 coarse thread, goes into the trans transfer case, and it comes with a nut and a lock washer. I could have done been done with this whole shebang had I looked in the bag. So, don't forget to look in the bag. I'll be back after I get some information regarding what size those holes are. The next day. Back at it here in the shop. We got, well here, let me show you the new little tool. Got this little jewel right here. Already used it. See, obviously, you can see my garage is just, I just cannot get a stinking clean garage. I just don't know what's a, what it is. But, anyways, with that, I made this bracket, or I drilled these holes for this bracket, mounted it here. I did decide that, whoop, I'm going to put it in this way, like that. And then I'll just uh, clearance the skid plate as necessary. I don't think I'll have a big issue with that. So what I'm going to do now is bolt that up, measure for my transmission cross member pieces, and then uh, tack all that together. All right, I'm going to put you all on the stand. You can watch this. Have some crazy hillbilly banjo music going on in the background on a time lapse. just have a plan I say this in every stinking video I swear you have a plan you got it in your head and then you're like up, up. nope ain't gonna happen so uh, I do believe that we're gonna be switching the old 
uh, mount around here. I got her like this. Made sure I had clearance back here. We're, we are up against this, but I don't think that's gonna be super duper big of an issue. We have clearance. I can still get a wrench up in here to get the, the bolts. It's not what I wanted, but if you look here, uh, let's see if I can't go out here. When I flip that upside down, that this tube right here is like way down here. It's like way down, way down. Like it's probably right here below the frame. Well, that ain't gonna work with the clearance that I want. Uh, at least at this point, you guys are here for the ride with me. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the skid plate back on and see if I can't lower the whole uh, back end of the transfer case down a little bit. Uh, maybe get a better, little better driveline angle. Um, and see where we're at. I think that this might be a better solution. I might have to end the video on this and just come back to this and uh, have you guys help me out a little bit. Because I'm needing some help. If you guys are in the Fairfield, Pennsylvania area and you know anything about this stuff, just give me a holler down in the old comments here. And just... Uh, I'll let y'all come visit the Fab Lab, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, need some help. I just can't do it on my own. My brain is just not that big, you know? So, I'm going to put the skid plate on and go from there. See what, see what we can do. Alright, well, I'm underneath here. I'm just seeing some here. Clearance issues. So, we're going to end this video off here. You can see the uh, transmission pan's pretty, uh, pretty well close to that, and I might have to drop it down a little bit. So, there's that. Whoa, focus, baby, focus. There it is. So I'm thinking something like that. Trim that down out right here. I'll probably have to have something over here for drive shaft, like something right in here-ish, like a cut out there. Um. Let's slide back here, and then this is definitely contacting. So we'll have to make a little bit of a relief there, and I'm gonna make it as wide as this so that it can goes down. We can have the drain plug access there. Uh, so, after all is said and done, I feel like I didn't get anywhere. This project is just taking me forever. Uh. So like I said, if you're in the Fairfield-ish area, Gettysburg, or heck, if you want to travel up here and help me one night, or one weekend, give me a holler. I'm be welcoming any help I can get. So, until next time, bye bye